Hello, hair bestie. I'm here with my model, Kate, today, and my best friend, Ariana. Take a look at Kate's hair. What's really interesting and cool to talk about is the curtain bangs. The curtain bangs has been very popular this whole entire- Super popular. Like year, right? Yes. Her curtain bang section area is very dark, but her natural actually is a level lighter throughout the back, and she's darker in the front. And then, of course, right along the baby hairs, there's that lighter piece right here in the front, which is common, but what's different is that it's a lot darker. This a whole, whole level. Patch. A whole level. Yeah. <laughs> we have the new swatch insert page, which is a level finder, and you can measure it right there. And she appears to be, is it a four in the front? A four and then a five, it, it looks like, yeah. right? Wow, that's a huge jump, and that's very different. And this makes it a challenge, which we love. And the challenge is a lot of times we think one size fits all. A lot of times we go in the salon, like, oh, just do the money piece. But what happens is if you do the money piece highlight across her face, look what happens. You only get this front of the bang that gets cut off, and then what happens to the rest of the length? So let's say you try to highlight the parietal area, then you only have this one stringy piece, and what, what happens to the rest of this? Because her hair isn't one length, there's so many layers, you have to accommodate highlights to contour and bring dimension to the cut, because it's always the shape of the hair, and you have to highlight according to the shape. You got to cut the hair first, shape it up, and obviously her hair's already cut into place this way, so I'm gonna highlight and paint her hair according to her cut. Are you ready? I'm ready, I'm so excited. I'm excited too. Today, we're gonna talk about Twilight Dream. We gotta introduce like the natural, warm gold colors, and you can see right here, Twilight Dream swatch. It has that perfect warmth, but it's not like too much of something and too little of something. It gives you enough so you have something to bring that glow back into the hair. And most importantly, this is great for your NI series. Mix it in to get great coverage. Are you ready to be hot, Kate? I'm so ready to be hot. Okay, we're gonna put the body condom on you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight a little bit of that money piece to bring that light in through her hair. We're gonna use Lift Me Up, and then we're gonna do some highlights throughout. Today, we're gonna use that extra lift with minimum tone because I don't need the extra tone. I want enough to give her the golden, bright shine, but not overly deposit the warmth. So here we did 20 grams of Magnum 8. We did 40 grams of 20 volume, dedicated 20 volume developer. We're gonna do five grams of the bright liquid toner, and we're gonna do five grams of the Empower Oil. So make sure to always use the oil in the Lift Me Up when you're mixing in the toner. So this is gonna lift and tone simultaneously. I have a series of videos on Lift Me Up, so please check them out. I'll provide the link below. So you can see here in the bowl that you see developer, the Magnum 8, the toner and the oil all in there, and we're gonna mix it all up. All right, here we go. Let's get started. I'm gonna start the nape first, and there's a tool for every section. When I am working with long hair, what I like to do is, I'm gonna create a horseshoe section, take the top out of the way, we're gonna clip her parietal out the way. We'll work on that last. Her hair, you could tell it lifts pretty easily. I usually like to do 20 in the back, 10 around the face, or 20 around the face and 30 in the back. Because we wanna keep her warm and not overlift her, I chose to do 20 volume instead. So with that being said, I'm gonna take a slice here. My thing is, you don't need to highlight everything. You look at the hair in the nape here, you see how it gets thinner as it goes down to the bottom? If you highlight that, you draw attention to how much thinner the hair is at this area. But look at the next section, see that next section becomes thick. See that? So do you want to highlight thin hair or do you want to highlight the thicker parts? So remember, when you're highlighting something, you're drawing attention to it. When you're darkening something, you hide something, you tuck it away. So it's almost like contouring your face with makeup, right? So what I do is I take another slice, go up one more, and every client's different. So I determine how many slices do I need to take before the hair gets thick. So this is where I want to start my first highlight. Okay, let's take our first Slice. Wow, look what I discovered back here, Ariana. She has lighter pieces up here. When's the last time you color your hair? Probably two years ago. Two years ago. So she's naturally lighter, not only on the top, but in the center of her head, in the back. And this is very common. Sometimes, you know, everyone's different. So I'm gonna go ahead and back comb this section. If you want maximum blend, what I like to do is lift the hair up 180, and I go from the center, I push it right on up, right underneath, and then one more time on the top. 
up. And what I love about the Lift Me Up is that it penetrates all the way through it. Look at the Lift Me Up consistency. Know that her hair is gonna turn into a beautiful, bright golden blonde. I love bright blonde tones that isn't ashy sometimes. And even though I back comb her hair, I'm still not doing a straight line. I'm still doing a V or a W. And take notice that everything is in the flat panel. Don't ever rope the hair together because if you rope the hair, what happens is you won't penetrate all the way through. So sometimes you'll see me go from left to right like this because when you roll the hair across the foil, you allow the hair to get penetrated from underneath because sometimes you don't get underneath. But the cool thing about the Lift Me Up is because of the consistency of the product, it allows you to penetrate very easily through the hair. All right, I'm just gonna roll this right on up and we're gonna do a foil overlay. I love the consistency. And with this new mixing ratio that you have the extra lift, it ensures that she gets really, really light. Now you can mix it with 40 volume and you can also mix it with 30. I chose to do 20 because, you know, I like to retain the warmth. Okay, and I'm gonna take another inch slice above it and repeat doing the same thing. This is really important because I feel like we always try to highlight every single section. Not every single foil needs to be done because then it's not highlighting anymore. You're basically just taking all of the hair and just lifting it up. And you see here, some of the ends are a little bit lighter. So do not put those ends in because you don't want to overlap. So if any ends you want to be left out, go ahead and feather. And I just work my way up pretty much like so. so I'm gonna do three foils on the left side of her nape, three foils on the right side of her nape, and then I'm gonna transition into a different foil placement as I get to the top. You see that I don't really use that many foils because less is more when it comes to this technique. Okay, so this is the third last foil on this side. I'm gonna repeat the same thing. We'll be right back. So what I did is did four foils around her curtain bangs here. You'll see that I did four back-to-back -back foils around her face frame, which is where the money piece is. And then I skip an inch and I will do one slice, I back comb, one slice, back comb, one slice, back comb, skipping an inch between each. So I only did four foils on top of her head, three foil on the nape, and then we repeat the same thing on the other side. So there's not that many foils. It looks like a lot because these are long foils, but look at all the hair I left out in between. There's lots of hair being left out. So take notice my hair is up in a bun. Okay, I love my hair down. It gets... Things got serious. I know, things <laughs> got serious. So I'm gonna put my hair up in the bun. Do, do you like it? Is it cute? Do you think it's cute, Kate? Yeah. It's cute? Okay, if you approve. Not that I need people's approval, but you know, it's cute. Let's go for it. Body positioning is key. So I'm standing right in front of Kate and I'm gonna back comb. So you can see, I could put the hair there. And what I'm gonna do is get the comb, put the comb right in and tuck the hair back away just like that so that way I highlight all of the pieces that are closest to the face and paint the lift me up right on. Having a flat surface to paint on is so much easier to saturate. What I find is that before when you're trying to juggle, it makes life so hard when you're juggling the foils. So a foil board is something that will save your back and also makes doing your job a lot more fun. And also take notice of my parallel sectioning. I go along with how her hairline is. This ensures that I hug her face. Now I'm doing the foil overlay and then I can remove the board. So if you have situations with your client hair being too slippery, use the guy tank my thick body and you can miss it from afar like so. This ensures that it gives you a little grip so when you back home things stay put. One of the things that we had a conversation about with Kate is about really enjoying our happiness because I feel like as humans, we tend to look for everything wrong in everything. I know that when I have bad days or when I have rough moments, I always look for something wrong. And I think as humans, that's normal. But it's rare that we congratulate someone. We tend to look for things that's wrong in ourselves and other people. It's almost like looking for that spot on our white t-shirt when the rest of the shirt is white. Our eyes gravitate towards something wrong versus something right. Kate, what are your thoughts on this? I love what you said, but I mean, I think that sometimes we need to be real with ourselves. And I think a lot of times when we're pointing a finger at somebody, there's, what is it, like one pointed finger towards somebody is three pointed back at you. You have to realize that sometimes we're projecting on other people a little bit. So. Projecting. Because <laughs> a lot of times our own insecurities 
are actually being displayed. Once you're aware that you are behaving that way, because we all do, and what I do is I take a step back and say, okay, why do I feel this way? How can I turn this around? How can I be better? Yeah, like reframing it and like you said, celebrate that person instead and just make that the focus. So I named this collection Twilight Dream. So Twilight Dream is a natural gold color. And the reason why I said twilight, because twilight is a transition between night and day. And that's something we don't really think about. When we think about twilight, we think, oh, you know, now it's nighttime and it's not daytime anymore. No, there's actually a deeper meaning to it. When you actually look it up in the dictionary, twilight actually means you're in a state of obscurity. You're lost. You're in between your feelings. You feel kind of down. Twilight is being in that transition. But when you really think about that transition, look how beautiful twilight is. When day turns to night, right, you see all the beautiful colors when the sun sets. It's about celebrating that time. It's okay to be lost in the middle. And that's when you find so much in yourself. I love it. I know, twilight, twilight. People don't think about that. And that's why I call it twilight. So you see her curtain bangs. I'm gonna go ahead and do a diagonal slice, almost like a V, because I do want to get in here. So you can see here, she is darker here. She's a little slippery. Let me put some more thick body in. Oh, sorry, Ariana. <laughs> it's okay, I need some too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can, you can use a little texture back there. All right, and I'm gonna continue moving back and I'll show you what I'm gonna do in the back section. So I did four back-to-back -back foils around the money piece face frame. So you can see I leave about a one inch spacing in between each so then you'll see me do a slice here and you'll see that there's another inch spacing. So that's plenty of hair. And then we have another foil that's also back comb as well. And then we're gonna do another inch spacing. So you can see how much hair space in between each foil. So you can see I'm wrapping around her head so it's diagonal, you're wrapping around the head. And I'm gonna take a thin slice as I wrap around. So in the back, you can see it kind of lays vertically, but creating that back comb creates that diffusion right in through there. And you can see her hair is lighter in the center. She kind of has the lighter hair in the center throughout her whole entire head. She's lighter in the center back here, lighter in the center on the top, and then darker in the front. Everything's been lifting very, very well. So you are seeing four foils hugging her face, four foils on each side on top of her head, three foils on her nape on each side. That is it. So we're done with this pretty quickly. Sometimes less is more. And I think that a lot of times we think more is more. We try to do too much and sometimes too much is too much. We've been guilty of that. We've been guilty of that <laughs> many times. And again, she has some lightened pieces. Leave them out. If you see like, really blonde pieces, you don't need to overlap them. You want to feather it through. So you'll see how these ends are flickered out. That way you don't overlap them. Look at this foil back here. Let's take a peek. Look how bright and even she lifted. Look at that. That is a beautiful shade of blonde. Lift That's, me up. Lift me up. That's with the bright. This is bright. You need it. Look at how even this warmth is. Imagine when we rinse this out and blow dry your hair. The last foil you're gonna see me do here is when you go right down through here, leaving that inch spacing in between the last foil. And be careful not to highlight where the swirl is because if you put a highlight where her swirl is, you're gonna see like that stripe coming out from her swirl and that's not cute. So you want to open the hair up and leave this area dark. So that way when it fans out, it can cover any strange striping that can pop right out because you don't want to draw attention to that. So I can see here that this is gonna lay like so. So what I wanna do is get in under, and this is where I'm gonna highlight this one and leaving a little bit of darkness so there's dimension. And then we're gonna come back to base her hair with Twilight Dream level seven. So what I'm gonna do now is do the Twilight Dream level seven and I'm doing 10 volume on the scalp, 20 volume mid shaft. And the reason why why you want to amp up the developer is because on a scalp, you don't need that much energy. On a scalp, you got the heat and you don't want to get hot roots on the scalp. So you already see, I already apply it on the scalp. It's the same formula, except with the developer change. So Twilight Dream has a natural gold tone. So you get the gold, but it's balanced. So it looks natural. You get warmth, but you get a balanced warmth. You need that energy on the cold shaft with the 20 volume. And then after I finish applying the formula, I'm gonna let her hair process for 30 minutes. All right, ready or not? Three, two, one, whee! So baby, take a chance, 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 oh. Forget about your plans, 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 on my own. You know if it's just dreams, they don't mean anything. Let's make it real so we don't have to wonder. Baby, can't you see, see, oh. The things that we could be, 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 oh, oh, oh. 
Justice for Twilight. This color I'm obsessed with. You're enhancing what's already there. You're bringing life to something that gives you so much comfort. All right, I'm gonna leave the link below so you can check out the color on mydaddycolor.com. You can go to Cosmoprof and Armstrong McCall to get all the colors and everything you see today. I love the highlights that you see with Lift Me Up. It brings so much dimension and it lifts the and tones. The placement is, oh my God. the placement's everything. It opens up her curtains. Less is more. Look at this. You see her curtains? It just opens up. Anyway, subscribe, thumbs up, comments below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, everywhere. And download my music, my new album, 1981. More to me, multi-perspective, everything. Talk to you soon. Bye! My pain is my pain